Hey everyone, Wanderbots here, and welcome to a story about my uncle. Not really, it's a game. Not not my uncle. I'll, I'll talk about that later. You have too in many. In a different video. Yes. Too many uncles. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is completely separate from that rambling. So, this is an indie game. It's a first-person platformer 3D-ish. I know almost nothing about it. Originally, it was like a demo that some guy in Sweden... I think Sweden. I don't know. Uh, he had a fairly Icelandic Sweden... I don't know. He, Viking. He, a Viking made this game. <laughs> and, um, well, it was a pretty cool demo, and it garnered enough attention that the guy's like, you know what, I'm just gonna make this into a real thing, like a full-out game to sell on Steam. And that's what he did. So it's releasing, uh, what, today, May 28th, if you're watching this day of. And, uh, it's pretty cool, looking at the, uh, splash screen. We've never played this before, so let's hop right in. Dad? Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? All right. What do you want to hear? Something... something about an adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. When I was your age, my biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day, he disappeared. I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see, see if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. Oh, I was really hoping I could like mash this and go like, boy, go, boy, go, boy, go. I think, I think, you know the, how everything sort of blurs as you move is a little discombobulating. I think there's supposed to be motion blur, but I turned that off. I could turn it on. I'm not sure how exactly oh, that would turn oh, out. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, motion blur, turning on. Let's see what happens. I usually turn it off for frame rate issues. That better? Yeah. Okay. A little. That's good. Ooh, di mm, diver's helmet. Wait, what does that say? Daddy's helmet? Daddy's helmet. So the uncle probably has uh, kids, too. I like this. There, there's a lot of detail in here that I wouldn't expect. Though, can I crouch? Nope, can't crouch. Oh, no, those are actually 3D objects. Oh, that's one of those coin cats. Coin cat. Coin cat. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. Hmm. Mm. Anything else over here environmentally? Oh, yeah, that gets a little wiggly. Why, I feel like... Why, why are these... Has someone been rummaging around? Kind of looks like it. Trying to find out his secrets. Apparently. The mouse movement is, like, weirdly to show, smooth. To show some villainous people something. I don't know. I'm just coming up with stuff. Well, this is a thing. Fantastic Frederick's disposal disposal system. What? Platinum bolt. Where does it all go? Where does it all go? Negatives. Dangerous for children. Price expensive, probably. We'll dispose of anything convenient and environment friendly. Probably. So is it teleporting stuff to another dimension? I wouldn't be surprised if aliens are like, "Hey, you're throwing all this junk on I our have planet." I've Uncle Fred's house countless of times, but in a locker, which usually was closed. I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. I like the fact that you can zoom in. Grappling hook. Yep. That is a massive hand machine. I have to say, uh, he must have I guess it down. the hand has gone di gone away at this point. That was the nicest modeled hand I've seen in a very long time. <laughs> Especially in an indie game. Like, serious props for hand modeling and animations. I was not expecting the something like that. The most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. Oh. Uncle Fred had warned me not to touch any of his things. But, as I said, I was a curious child. 
Welcome to Fred DS. Version point zero zero three. Well, wait, wait. Let's look around the room some more. I mean, it's just like files and stuff. There's nothing. Wet floor sign and like a fire hose. So are you just gonna go through the flip path? the lever? So I bet the uncle went through here, which probably brings us to a different planet. I'll just stand here conveniently, waiting for it to happen. I can only assume something's going to happen here. Hello. See space. To space. To the moon. Wait, hey, hey. What? Oh, hello. What the? So just like catapult you into the sky. That's a thing. Bit of a slow intro, but it works. I just want to get to the, like, shooting. This game has guns, right? Right? Hey. <laughs> yep, we just have a good adventure. Blam! Ooh. <gasps> I landed with a crash, but thanks to the suit, I wasn't hurt. I had no idea where the pad had taken me, but back then, I didn't care so much about where I was going or how I would get home. See? The trash is being chucked here. Not much. I was expecting to land in like a massive a pile. pile of trash. Yeah, like an amulet or something. Where we just land in a pile of bodies, except for bodies. Oh, oh. look, there's a radio. I guess there's more stuff. Alarm clock. Yep, trash, trash bags. bags. Some like scrap metal. I don't think. So, did you think he got curious to see where he was actually teleporting all this stuff? Yeah, or... why not? He was like, where does it all go? In his notes. Uh, old briefcase. Anything like hiding over here? Hey, now I can sprint. Now, there's definitely some sort of civilization here. All I know is this is beautiful. Yep. I... What? 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 No, no. What? What are you... Huh. Ah, I was For... curious what would happen if I did that. Don't. <laughs> I always have to check in games, like, what happens when you die, if you can. Hey, that's a checkpoint. Good to know. Well, the onwards. Protected me from falls on the ground, but not in water. I couldn't swim with this thing on. Best be careful. Ooh. So it's definitely telling you, avoid water. Pretty much. Oh. Power jump. That's cool. Yeah. Like this. I wonder if there are going to be puzzles and such, or is it just platforming? I, I was think... sure that someone had been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols, but who? Where were they now? I think it's a bit of both. Oh. Okay. Oh, just Almost missed that one, yeah. Oh, what's that? What's that? That no, thing? No, down there. This? It's like a seismograph. I found a strange gizmo. Some sort of measuring tool that Fred must have built. It seemed to be done measuring, though, so I took the results to give to Fred. Oh, elevator. I'm glad I don't take falling damage in this game. First-person platformers with uh, falling damage, or really just platformers in general with falling damage, are kind of the worst. Well, I guess I didn't need to uh, super jump that way. I think we're supposed to go that direction, which means... Go this way! <laughs> Oh. Always take the road less traveled, or you won't be able to have enough of a running start to get to that one. No. No. Shoot! Where do I end up? Oh, back where okay. I was. Right here. Yeah, I forgot to do the right jump. There we go. Uh, oh, almost. Well, that's a problem. Uh, let's try that again. Luckily, there's like no loading times or anything like that. I've noticed that, for... yeah. Dying. There we go. You made it. Is this a tent? How did you know Fred had been there? Well, I found a small campsite where Fred must have slept before going further into the caves. I knew it was him because the place was littered with empty packages of his favorite hiking foods. Canned soups, tube food, and instant noodles. Tube food? That sounds gross. Oh well, Ooh. it's not that bad. One winter, Uncle Fred and I went hiking into the mountains, and we were surprised by a blizzard. We were stuck in a small cabin for two days, and all we ate was tube food and cold.
cold canned goulash as well. Your grandmother was worried sick, but I thought it was all very exciting. Uh, ah. What? Do you doubt my prowess? I like the fact that dialogue is not interrupted by uh, checkpointing. This one I'm not going to make. Oh. <laughs> and just to think that one wrong move can send you back a little bit. Would, uh, yet, yet. Kill you instantly. Kill you dead. Okay, so. Hmm. Right there. That's true. I was, kind of, I was kind of hoping I could do, like, a massive running leap and just, like, sail right over there's this one. There's nothing on the right that you'd need to inspect, was there? Nope. There's nothing around in here. No, no, I mean up. Look up. Any no. other places that you think I don't think that to? rock up there uh, would end up in go. anything meaning... Me, bleh, would not... Bleh. Nothing on that rock up above would have anything useful. I bet. I assume there's going to be a fair amount of exploration involved. Grapple device. The power core I found activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my uncle. Yeah, you grapple the points. Well, that's convenient. What if I can go back as a result of this? The answer is no. No, there's no grapple point. That's fine. Wasn't really expecting too much. I wonder if there's anything down here. The answer is also no. That's a nice environmental de detail. The other question is, is there anything at the top? And the uh, answer is, does not matter. Can't get up there. Ooh, a ladder. A ladder? A cut tree. Ladder? Where no, 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 we can't climb it. It's... Oh. Ooh, it's got runes on it. That's nice. I think it's made by the uh, Locals? people that dwell here, yeah. Or oh. dwelled. Goodbye! Uh, oh! oh. You... <laughs> so you almost <laughs> vaulted back, but didn't. Wait, That's... so you can actually create your own vault points? That's interesting, but it uh, it requires a little bit of time to get charged. That's cool. That you don't always have to aim for stuff, but I bet. Oh, <laughs> you're just making. They don't go away either. Bunch of patterns. How many can I do? Vandalism. Yeah, it looks like I can do a lot of vault points if I really wanted to, for no adequately explained reason, but I can. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Not 100% sure, did not end up mattering. The grappling device left a sort of symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave. And I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. Ah. Oh, you didn't. Your spider swinging isn't quite up to par. I was working on it. Ugh. Look, do I look like Spider-Man to you? <laughs> hmm. Hey, that worked. I was yeah. like, this is gonna end poorly. Wait, what? I'm alive. Please. Ah, ah, he just victory. made the corner of this. Victory huh? for the Wanderbot. Oh, that's that's really bad design. You can't jump? Apparently not. Okay, well then it means you're meant to be here. Well, no. Uh, you can't jump on a moving object. I, th I think you're not supposed to go on that anyway. Well, I think you are. I think that's... Oh, a... down to that oh, corner there? Nuts. I, I think there are multiple ways, but I bet that's where a collectible is. But, um... Y you can't, like, jump while on one of these. You actually, like, your movement is screwed up. That's that's actually really bad from, like, a design standpoint. Is there anything down there? Just a torch? I don't know. Time to find out. Hey, it's another. Sweet. How do we get out of here? I wonder if those are things you actually have to actively seek out lest you find Fred and don't have all the data. That would be... Uh, no. Actually, they're just collectibles. Oh. So, like, if you get all of them, uh, it had, like, a little flavor text pop-up saying, like... Super special ending? Uh, no. No, just, you get unlockables for finding collectibles. Oh. Hmm. Find jump and grapple. Yep. This is really nice. 
I've never actually played a good first-person platformer, I think. The adventure suit was fantastic. Mm -hmm. By combining a power leap with a grapple, I could fly long distances through the air at great speed. Ooh. Almost landed poorly there. Almost. I'm wondering if hmm. the, the entirety of this game is going to be in a series of caves with floating rocks or if we're actually going to get to the surface. I don't know. That's an interesting question. And I'm kind of hoping that we get to the surface or like elsewhere because it would be... Uh-oh. Uh, uh, mm. You should have hit the rock that was directly above. Mm. Well, no. I flubbed that one. But, uh, let's see. Charge the power drum first, then do these. Okay. See, now look up. Yes. Uh, no, 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 not there. See that rock that's been uh, floating about? Okay. See, I think I'm just supposed to do light jumps, not sprint jumps. Right. To get across. I like the fact that you can leave runes on things, because if you say screw up, then it will let you more or less reclaim yeah, now where let's you went. Wait for that rock to come around. There, there you go. Up there. Uh, or you don't need it. Yep. Neat. I think we need it over here. Yes. Yeah. Because I was like, it's the wrong angle. It's just going to send me flying off wait, into. Wait, did places. you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Down there. Sneaky. I I like how uh, hidden they are. They're like they're not terribly hidden. It reminds me of Metroid, where you can hear the wow 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 of uh, pickups that you need. That that is a good aspect. I I'm enjoying this. Bring me along, fair Roxy. Please don't fire me off. Hey, Yay! I can sl slow my descent by heading uh, hitting backwards. Oh. Because there's only what it, one way to do this. But yeah, the fact that you can... You can hear it. Uh-oh. Uh there you go. Whee! This yeah. is... Man, it must be really fun to sling around like this. I would really enjoy this, except for the falling and potentially dying part. This is going to be a concern. Oh. Up there? Yeah. Bonk. That's clever. I really like that. That... That there isn't just the same over and over that it keeps like um the developers switch things up just a little bit it's a nice touch nice touch keeping my ears out for more scanning equipment so yeah uh i guess we might as well kind of go over what uh we like and don't like just because we're starting to hit the end of this first impressions apart from just being like yeah uh there's i don't think there's anything i dislike about this game i think so the far. only thing i dislike is that you can't jump well uh, on a moving object. Uh, and, like, maybe the texturing is a little... Like, honestly, I think this would be much better with hand-painted textures, but maybe that's because I'm a curmudgeon. This this reminds me a lot of Mist, and I'm enjoying it. it. It's definitely got the same, like, feel. Mm. This is going to end very poorly for me. Uh, get the top of the... No? Come on. Yes. Wow. Oof. Yeah, there, I can't believe that works. There's an immense sense of satisfaction when you pull off a stupid <laughs> trick somehow. Yeah. I think I was supposed to hop on to like that thing and slingshot myself sideways. Oh. Oh, hey. There you go. Hmm. Oh, Probably I have see. have to get up there. Gotta just wait for it to come around though. There we go. Please don't like drop me off in the middle of this. That would be hideously uncomfortable. Come on, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> Whee! I don't know. I always like yelling that, even though I'm obviously not Leroy, and it's kind of a tried, well, not a uh, tried and true reference, but it's it's definitely an overdone reference. That's for certain. I'm just wondering what the civilization is too. Like, it leaves a lot to your imagination. Second power core. Grapple two times before landing. So I guess mm. by the end of this, we're going to be able to grapple three times. And then you can really be Spider-Man. Yeah, that'd be cool. It would be amazing if, like, later on, you can actually just grapple an unlimited number of times. And it's like, I'm flying! I, I figured that 
Yeah, if you if you notice on the glove there, the like. So you get three grapples by the looks of it. Pretty much. That's what I was saying. Ah, uh, yeah. No, the design work is well done. Text, texturing, <laughs> the uh, environmental detail is better than Ambler. Up, 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 up. Le oh, you nope. could. You. Ah. Uh, oh, there are two. There are two of them. Yes, 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 yeah. bam! Bam! That was awesome. Yeah, so as far as like a visceral first person platforming goes, I think this is the first game to ever fully impress me as far as that goes. And I'm surprised that we actually haven't had a lot of near misses with the edges of platforms. Because I remember playing things like Metroid Prime, you would jump and you would just barely miss the ledges because, you know, you don't really know where your feet are going to be. Yeah, well... I hear it. Yes. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a lot easier to get to. Yeah, the fact that you can hear the collectibles is a really good thing. The the fact that they're moving rocks and stuff, like, each puzzle feels kind of different. Like, there's something new to try. Yeah, so... The modeling. Music's also really calming, too. It, the music is very appropriate. Does this remind you of Atlantis at all? Yes. Uh, especially the, like, Disney one? Mm-hmm. Are we talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's uh, definitely got... Got the uh, Disney blue, Atlantis blue feel. Crystal levitation runes. Yep. I really ho hope that this game was uh, made by the guy I said it was. It could be uh, done by an American, and I wouldn't actually know. Well, I there should is look an these accent. things up. That's true. Actually, that that's a good point. Uh, something I didn't really mention. The voice acting is really nice. Oh, another one. Ah. Uh... Onwards up and enough. upwards. Oh yeah, this is good. There you go. This is like no contest. It'd be hilarious if, if there's actually like a trick rock to screw you up and it's like, no. Hello. A left. Ooh. What's in there? Munchies! Did you ever see any of Fred's experiments yourself? Yes. I actually helped him collect samples for his research sometimes. To learn about them? That's right. We found all sorts of things. One time, we went to the forest and found a small pool of water that was full of eggs. Eggs? Were there chickens in the forest? No, not chicken eggs. These were small and jelly-like. Hundreds of them. Fred told me that they were frog eggs. He was in for a surprise, though. Guess what happened? What? What happened? Well, we took some eggs back home and one day, Fred woke up with bites all over his body. Turns out, it wasn't frog eggs after all. It was mosquito eggs. Ah, oh, poor Fred. I know. He did find real frog eggs eventually. He told me that they were very, very special. But I don't know what happened to them. Whee! Landing. Yeah! Ooh, lights. We might be getting somewhere. I hope we do. Yeah, he's been leaving campsites all over the place, but I wonder to mm, what yeah. end. These blue lights. Did Fred put them here? Or was somebody else here as well? Or transition. Dunno. Sanctuary grapple challenge. Cool. And I guess this is level two. I like this. Looks wow. like Denis. Yeah, it does. Or what little I know of Denis. That would actually be a really well done thing. Huh, interesting. There's man-made objects here. As well as potentially less man-made. Probably just more junk. <laughs> yeah, but I'm surprised we made it this far. Like Unless someone dragged it there. Yeah, it's an interesting question. I don't know. Maybe the uh, populace has been looting for stuff. Because it does look like they can make stuff, but I'm curious what, what they would need. Like, just two random bits of sheet metal all the way out here. Like, English warnings on it. Unless there's actually English people here. But, I think this is a great spot to say goodbye for now. And, you know what? I want to keep playing this. So, I'm, I'm actually up for uh, continuing the Let's Play of this, because this is cool. I, I like it how the narr narration is in the form of a story. Yeah. Because, if you notice... I was asking the same questions the little girl was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're the little girl and I'm the dad. That's awkward. 
<laughs> what? No. No, anyway, not at all. This has been the Wanderbots trying out a story about my uncle, but not my uncle. I have to say, I am really impressed. Yeah, it's simple. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot to it. But what it sets out to do, it does fantastically well. I'm just intrigued at figuring out, first off, where the uncle is. Secondly, yeah, it, what this civilization that it, probably lived here before is. It's got a story, which is more than I can say about most platformers, and I'm really impressed with it. I want to see, like, who made this stuff, if it's ever explained. The environmental detail and just stuff is really nice. The music is spot on. And the hand modeling, even though the hand is gone at this point, is wonderful. And really everything else. Like, this is, for an indie project, this is really tight. I am impressed I haven't, like, gotten stuck on anything. Really, just the fact that there are these massive environments as well. Like, back before, that was one area. Yeah. You didn't... Yeah. I... So, I mean, a lot of this is low poly. Like, these... This is a lot of nice texture, but there's almost no, like, surface modulation going on here. Is it reacting to the lighting? Uh... Well, I don't have a shadow, which is a bit disappointing. But, whatever, I can't complain too much. It doesn't look like... I think you're just seeing the normal mapping. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, no, this is really good. And yeah, our frame rate has been 60 FPS this entire way through. And I don't have the best computer ever, but this is really tight. Awesome. So, I think both of us are giving this one a thumbs up as far as, like, everything goes. I, w mm -hmm. I want to keep playing. Heck, w when it's one of those where you we do a let's try and it's like, well, let's, let's just keep playing this. Why not? Yeah, I can't wait to see where this goes. And also, there's still that whole exhilaration of flinging yourself through the air and landing. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> on the next ledge. Yeah. So, we'll see you guys on, I guess, the next episode if you continue watching. Or, you know, uh, just realized I've been sitting around just waving my camera at things uh, while I, complimenting I know, stuff. Been, uh... Well, I didn't want like him to start talking or us to run into any puzzles to get distracted. So anyway, we will see you guys on the next episode of A Story About My Uncle. Or, if you're just here for the uh, Let's Try of it, you can see stars. Mm hmm Yeah. So, if you're just here for the Let's Try of it, I hope you guys pick this one up, because it's really good. And, either way, we will see you guys next time. Hello.